Okay, so what were you saying about your friend? Oh yeah, he moved here to get married. He wanted to come here to find his bride? Is he sure it's no suitable counterparts where he's from? That's what I'm saying. He said his dad told him to come here that um, this is where his bride would be. Wow, okay, well then, what's his type? Mm, I know she's gotta be beautiful, but it's not the kind of beauty that the world talks about, you know, like the charm and deception, but it's the kind of beauty that comes from the fear of the Lord. So he's not really looking at like the outside appearance, but more like the person's heart. Exactly. And I know they have to be equally yoked. So when is he planning on having his wedding? Cause I mean, I know for a fact that the years go on, stuff don't stay looking the way it used to. That's exactly what I said. But he's like the way he sees her now is how he'll always see her. That there's nothing she can do to make him love her less. And there's also nothing she could do to make him love her more. If that makes sense. What? So he found her already. Yeah. Wow. So then what's the hold up? She in another relationship. Hold up. Now, I don't know how they do stuff where your friend is from, but around these parts, that's called home wrecking. Yeah, but he told me that the guy she's with doesn't even love her, nor could he ever. He just playing her, straight prostituting her. And it's like he's deceiving her, but she's looking for love so badly. Well, you know what they say. Sis, love ain't blind. He is taking advantage of her and just straight using her because she just wants to be happy, but she doesn't see that it's killing her inside. But that's the thing, my friend came here to get her so that she would know what it's like to really live. All right then, what's the plan? I mean, do I need to get my Vaseline and sneakers? Well, my friend already confronted the guy and he's like, I ain't giving her up for free, you gonna have to pay for it. Where they do that at? Okay. And my friend is relentless when he pursues. So he's like, fine, I'll pay the price for it. Dang, he got it like that. Sus, I'm trying to tell you. Their family name is so powerful. And his dad owned like everything. So he's like, I'll pay the price in full for her. Past, present, and future. I'll take care of any previous debt she may owe and anything that might come up in the future. Look, I want to get married just as much as the next person. But to pay to have somebody who you haven't even officially met yet, like what if she doesn't choose him? You're right. She could say no to his proposal. But he said the chance of her saying yes is worth the risk. Wow. Okay, so what ended up happening? Well, apparently the guy became enraged that my friend was willing to pay for her. And he's like, you think you know something about her that I don't know? You think you found some sort of treasure or some sort of masterpiece? He's like, no, she's trash. And I've made sure that she knows it. And he said, besides, you can't afford her anyway. Her wage is death. You willing to exchange your life for hers? He wrestled with it for a moment, and then he said yes. He said they mocked him, called him a fool, told him that they would make sure that this was the worst death anybody had ever experienced. He's like, I'm going to beat you so bad. Your own mama won't even recognize you. And I 
just started to cry. And he's like, don't cry for me. Don't weep for me. He said, this is what I came here, remember? I told you that. I came here to get my bride, to betroth her to me, to make a way so that she can meet my dad. This is why I came here. So that she could take my name and be a part of my family. And I said, fine, fine. What, what, why are you telling me then? What are you telling me for? He said, because I want you to tell her. So are you going to tell her? I just did. What? There was one more thing he wanted me to tell you. He's coming back 